really good show um there i think season three starts to fall off a little bit but it's worth going through the whole show and watching it from beginning to end it's it's a great show um the ending was okay i'm not going to give spoilers but it was okay i mean I, I it wasn't bad i wouldn't say it was bad but uh it it definitely what the fuck where the hell am i <laughs> Oh, we're underneath this area. So it's got like an... Oh. I wonder if there's a map. Okay. Well, we need to get up top. I imagine there's probably a way up somewhere over here. But there's two... Wow, that really makes things a lot more. Now we got to cover the bottom area and the top. Okay. Um, but yeah, Mr. Robot is a, is I, I definitely recommended watch. Um, it's a pretty dark show though. It's a very dark show, but, uh, still good. Torrent is immune to poison because if I were walking through this, I'd be poisoned. But I also have to be careful because if I get knocked off, I'm going to get poisoned. And I don't, uh, I don't think I have any cures. So you got to watch out for shit like that. Because you'll get knocked off. Boy. Uh, very good question. Um,. Honestly, I would like to do Horizon Zero Dawn so I can do Horizon Forbidden West. Um, if it wasn't for that, then it probably would be a toss-up between Days Gone, Red Dead Redemption 2, and Metro Exodus. But it's, it's going to be one of those four. The, and then I'm probably going to I want to get my retro machine back up because I want to do retro games on the side. But, um, I, I still have to do like one more kind of, I don't know if I'd say upgrade, but because I built my media machine, the one I told you about the 12, 600 K, I have to migrate my retro rig, uh, into my server room. So I have to basically overhaul that system and swap parts around and shit and get that up and running. But once that's done, I'm pretty much done with all my upgrading for quite a while. And I should be able to stream like on a more regular basis. Um, a lot of the times, I don't want to say that the reason I don't stream is because I'm upgrading all the time. It's because I'll be working and upgrading and I can't do both because it, it gets, because there's a lot of research that gets involved. And uh, if I, didn't research then it would just be like but you got to do your research uh you know so that way you don't like i don't i don't like to just buy something blindly because uh if you do that you open yourself up to the potentiality of buying something only to find out a month later oh shit i should have bought this and now you got to buy you know that product and and try to you know maybe you're outside of the return window of the first and then you're screwed so i i spend a lot of time doing research uh, before I pull the trigger on products. Um, and sometimes I over research because, you know, there's a lot of time that I spend. Um, and it just depends on what it is. Like even with the 12,600 K. Yeah, exactly. Um, I was torn on whether I should go with the 12,600 K. Cause I was like, it's six. It's cause I was looking at it as uh, it's a six core with four small cores. Is that really going to measure up? Um, but the way the design of the architecture works uh, with the E cores, even though it's six performance cores and four E cores, it's, I mean, it outperforms the 9900K and not by a little bit, by quite a bit. And it's also less power, it's less heat. So, and you know, I wasn't really... The only reason I upgraded from the 9900K is because the 9900K doesn't support 4K 60 FPS, a 60 uh, hertz refresh rate. 
if it did, I'd, I'd have just stuck with that. Um, but because it didn't, and because I output my video to 4K displays, um, that was the main reason. But it worked out because not only is it more powerful and it provides the support for the displays, but it's using less power and it runs cooler. So, it, you know, there was a lot of wins on that front. And the price, like $250, dude. 9900K, when I bought mine, was $400. So, I mean, th it's pretty crazy where we're at now with performance on chips and whatnot. Boy. That's true. You are right. I, I will not deny that. Because, and that's why I would, I would sort of show for AMD, uh, even though I won't buy AMD, <laughs> I'll show for them uh, a little bit because as long as they're, uh, you know, around and keeping things, keeping Intel in check, we're going to get these really good chips. Uh, at what would be considered reasonable prices. I mean, I'll be honest with you, that the the ten uh, or the twelve six hundred K, I would have paid three hundred for that chip. I mean, or even three twenty five, three fifty, and eh, that starts to get to the point where it's like, eh, I wouldn't say it wouldn't be worth it, but it starts to get to the point where it's like, it's kind of greedy. But two fifty was a steal. So yeah. Yeah, I, I agree. If they can figure out, you know, all the, you know, work out all those problems that they have with compatibility, um, I, I think that, you know, uh, you know, they would be, that was my really only, only gripe. Like when AMD worked, it was great when it worked, you know, I, I won't take it. I won't take anything away from them on that. Like, um, like whenever I did my live streams or when I rendered or whatever, like it worked really well. Um, okay, we're no longer underneath this shit. We're out in the open here, but there is an item over there. So we'll go grab that. Because I don't want to fanboy, I want to give my honest opinion on both Intel and AMD. Yeah, dude, if I mean, you've said you've had good experiences with it, and honestly, at the end of the day, that's like that makes me happy. I don't care as if it's working for you, more power to you. You know, that's all that's what we all want. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, oh, I don't believe you, screw that, AMD sucks. You know, I just want the shit to work, I don't care the, about the name you know, on the damn thing. That's where you fucked up, crab. somber stone so I don't know if I'd necessarily be considered like an actual fanboy of Intel because my opinion of what a fanboy is, and this isn't with like Intel specifically, this is with Boy. any product or company. Uh, in your opinion on gaming performance, would you say AMD is behind Intel a lot? Uh, 
right now well i mean it depends on what you look at because this is something i've also learned so right now amd has their uh 5800x 3d chips right and they're claiming that it is the best or fastest gaming chip even beating intel the truth is you can't really say Intel is fastest or AMD's fastest uh, because that's not exactly it's not exactly the full picture, so it's not exactly true. And I'll explain what I mean by that. So what they do is AMD will cherry pick specific games. They'll cherry pick a lot of like, you know, newer games, and they'll cherry pick uh, some games that maybe not be may not be brand new, but came out within the last four to five years, and then they'll put up benchmarks uh, showing their performance versus Intel and where they're at. Intel would do the same thing. Now, if when you're looking at those benchmarks, and if let's say that they're true, let's say they're accurate, what you have to do is look at the games that you play. And cross-reference that list of games you play and look at the benchmarks and see which games uh, are better performing on which chip. Because there are going to be certain situations where Intel uh, beats out this, you know, the new 5800X3D. Uh, then there are going to be situations where that X3D chip will beat out Intel. Uh, now, if we're just talking gaming. So... And you really can't say, well, there's more games supported and faster on the X3D chip, the AMD chip versus Intel. Not, I mean, that's not really fair either because, I mean, you're, you have to consider the, the game library is what it really comes down to. Now, uh, if, if you're only going to focus specific cherry pick games that are newer, then sure, AMD is going to look, you know, they're, it's marketing. They're just doing it. To market themselves and there's nothing wrong with that you know We're, we all do that it's not exactly it's not a full lie but it's not the full truth either so my recommendation it's very much like you know if you are um you know it's kind of you have to kind of look at the way steve puts it over at gamers nexus with uh like production uh programs Look at the look at the benchmarks on the games that you play the most or that you potentially would be playing the most and then pick your chip according to that. Another thing you want to also do is you might want to look at games that are coming out, you know, in the next couple of years and try to research those games and see if they're sponsored by, you know, Intel, NVIDIA or AMD. Because Resident Evil 8 was a sponsored game by AMD. So it technically should perform better on AMD hardware. Uh, but I, in my brief testing, it wasn't really... I didn't find it to be any better. But I didn't have an AMD GPU. I could only compare the CPU side. But at the resolution and frame rate that I was running, it didn't matter. Because I'm running 1440p. Which is a balance of both, but... Um, I think if you'd have been running an AMD CPU and an NVIDIA GPU, um, on either of those versus an Intel CPU, I don't really, you probably wouldn't notice much of a difference, uh, provided you were using like, you know, uh, a 5,000 series chip or even a 5,800, uh, X3D or 3DX or whatever it is. The only reason that I, I would like tell somebody like yourself uh, to probably go Intel is you're pretty much guaranteed you're not going to really have any issues when it comes to compatibility or hardware. Whereas AMD, you're you're it's a gamble. You might not, or you may have an experience like what I've had. And uh, and now that we're at this place with where Intel is literally cheaper than AMD, because it is right now, if you go in price, Intel's chips versus AMD, they are cheaper, not by much. I mean, we're talking like, you know, maybe 
10 to 20 dollars which isn't much but it's still cheaper um and you know it, it just depends now but if you know if you want to support amd and you want to go that route or if you've already got a motherboard and you don't want to spend you know investing into a new board because this is where intel fucked up and i don't know if intel's fully to blame but they screwed up with this launch of their new chip because they released ddr4 and ddr5 and the way this was done is it was pushed for consumers to buy into ddr5 because the ddr4 boards were kind of gimp and that's why i was kind of wanting to wait for raptor lake but I found this Boy. MSI Tomahawk and it it ended up working out because I did I, there was no way I was going to get DDR5. It's a waste of money. There, it doesn't even support uh, four, four sticks of RAM of 64 gigs, which is what I run. So it was going to be a waste anyway. So uh, yeah, I agree. Intel uh, never has compatibility issues with game, etc. With AMD, you have risk. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and but I will say this. I would strongly advise don't ever buy an AMD GPU. That I can say with, you know, full confidence. Because I look on forums all the time for performance issues and things like that. And every time people are having performance issues, it's usually one, they're using a, a very old GPU and they probably haven't updated their drivers. Or two, it's AMD. Those are generally the problems. Or... I guess the number one would be the person isn't really tech savvy, so they don't really know how to troubleshoot properly and install drivers properly. That That's generally the issue. Um, of course, the other issue could be the game itself is just broken, but if that's the case, then everybody's having problems. Kind of like what would happen with Elden Ring when it launched. Whoa! Whoa, I hit that thing and it didn't really do anything. Uh, yeah. This isn't taking damage. Why is this thing not taking damage? Okay, I picked a fight that I didn't really, wasn't really prepared for. <laughs> I really don't understand why AMD has so many issues in all departments. I don't either. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to skip these guys for now. If we don't die. I wonder if I need like a special weapon to get around that. Because like it didn't take any damage and my weapon's legit. I use both my bow and my sword. That was really weird. That's just runes. I don't need runes. I don't think that was a boss because the damage wasn't what I received wasn't like that bad it's, it seemed like a normal NPC I suspect I need like a special like weapon or something to to get around that uh, crystal bullshit let's look at the map okay I've been using Intel for, um, I started building my, I guess my first computer. I built it back in 95, I think. Um, and it was an Intel 100 megahertz Pentium, Intel Pentium 100 megahertz. And, um, and I've owned Intel, uh, consistently over the years uh, there, I did. I did buy one AMD system or build, I should say. Uh, so it was, I think in, I think it was 
the turn of the century, 2000, AMD released uh, a CPU known as the AMD Athlon, and it was a slot CPU, um, and it worked good. Uh, I didn't have performance or performance or compatibility issues. Um, the only complaint was it ran hot. It ran really hot. Um, but I used that for about a year, and then I ended up going back to Intel. Oh, shit, I shouldn't have done that. Oh, shit, there's a fucking crab. Okay, let me see if I can get these looted, and I'm going to mount up and get the fuck out. Oh, great, I'm fucking poisoned. So, um, I bought that, I built that Athlon, I used it for about a year, and then, uh, I went back to, uh, I went back to Intel, and I've been using Intel ever since, until, until AMD Ryzen, and that's, that's when I kind of returned to, uh, trying AMD again. Oh. Oh my Boy. god, I, I needed those stones, like, a long ass time ago. Yeah, right, Poison Ivy. There is a, an item in the game that will cure it. I just don't know uh, what it is. I'm going to look at my inventory when we get to a spot where I'm somewhat safe. He's, he's uh... crabs. I don't want them fucking me up. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 like I never had any problems with them, uh, as far as compatibility or performance. Like I said, the only issue I guess I could say I had was it did run pretty hot. Um, and that wasn't even overclocking cause I, I didn't even overclock back then. I don't even know if overclocking was a thing to be honest. Okay, that cures rot, uh, blood loss, fire, immunity. Yeah, we don't have anything to cure poison just yet. Um, I don't know if that's something I can craft or, or what. I haven't even gotten into the crafting in this game, so it's possible. Because I've got a bunch of mats to craft, so I probably need to look into doing that. Let me check out the map. Okay, we still haven't gotten up here, so we need to figure out how to get the fuck up there. I'm gonna have to take a bio break pretty soon. Oh shit, there's a fucking archer. Sit down. It's all rolling up all hard. Oh, this fool's... Whoa! At least my poison's cured. This guy's no joke. He reminds me of a uh, general, was it General Gravis from Star Wars that has like the multi sabers? Like the guy had multiple crossbows. That was really weird. Oh, look, another one. Oh, that's not a multi crossbow though. Spear. 
Uh, then he had 400 uh, gigabyte HDD in 2000. I think that time was... Yes, that was a lot. Because uh, hard drives... I mean... One of the things that we really have to appreciate in this day and age is the access to certain hardware at the price that we're able to access it at. Because back in the day... I mean, like, for example, like, you can go and buy a what, uh, 14, 12, 14 terabyte drive, you know, for, like, just for, like, storage. That's what I used to store, like, my videos on. And you can buy that for, like, I think 200 to $300, right? Back in the day, well, first off, we didn't have storage that big. I mean, you were lucky to get, you know, 100 gig or 200 gig. And I remember when the first terabyte drives came out, like it was just like one terabyte, then two terabyte, and then, you know, three, four. And then now we're up to like, I mean, now there's even more like, and I think even Linus uh, did a, a server or something that's using like, like 24 terabyte drives or something like that. It's really crazy. I mean, like the, the size of just how much data you can put on that shit. I guess we can go ahead and rest. I'm going to take a quick bio break, so I'll be right back. Uh-oh. One second. Just trying to figure out my... Oh, crap. <laughs> Went to the wrong thing. I might have to restart that. Oh, that sucks. Trying to fix a problem real quick. Okay, I think that fixed it. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I'm running around because I, I alt tabbed out of the game because I had the wrong. Um, so I share a keyboard uh, between all three of my computers. And uh, I had the keyboard set to my game rig and I was trying to alt tab on my workstation and it alt tabbed out of the game. And sometimes when I do that, uh, the game will not run correctly because it's been thrown out of full screen, but it seems to be fine. I'm going to check the uh, HDR on it to make sure it's still. Yep. Okay. Looks like it's all right. If I need to restart it, I will, but it seems to be working fine. Now, the, pro the problem I ran into was um, I went to go play my music and uh, I run I run my music through a streamer now instead of running it off my off through Windows because Windows sucks at audio, especially when it goes to like hi-fi audio. Um, so I use a program to run a server. You can run like a server, but not actually processing the music. Uh, so I go through have a streamer which does the processing it pulls 
the either the media files or the connected stream server streaming service excuse me and it processes the audio on the streamer and it sends that data to the DAC and then from the DAC out um, and I didn't know that uh, it took me a while to learn uh, about the audio setup and everything because I kept having issues with audio um, even outside of streaming or whatever and uh, like with pops and clicks and dropouts and shit like that and it was really fucking annoying so I spent a lot of time uh, trying to figure out how to improve my audio um, and I'm still working at it uh, there's still some things I need to like tweak and tune but it's way better than it ever was so let's see what this says okay uh, but anyways what happened uh, when I was gonna take a quick bio break I went to go play my music and the server did an update and it apparently uh, when it updated it didn't, didn't restart so it didn't connect so I was like what the hell so I had to like KVM into the server to reboot it and to fix it I was like oh what the hell um, but when I went to do that I alt tabbed out of the game which <laughs> which because uh, I had the wrong keyboard done my system setup is a bit complex um, it's definitely not for some, a simple minded person for sure. Uh, even I, uh, have trouble with it sometimes, <laughs> but, um, it, it, it does work pretty well. It just, you just have to know what the fuck you're doing. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> yeah. We need to get up there. I think that's where we need to get to. Yeah. Damn, that's a huge wall. Look at that. So we just placed a marker. That marker is up there. Like, how the fuck do you get up there? And, and it goes up to another level. So like, we're looking at this and we see how big that wall is. Oh, I see. It looks like you can get up over here. But do you have to go around or something? Or do you go around over here? Ah, oh, look, there's like a road here. Maybe there's something that leads up over there. So we may be even going the wrong fucking way. Um... And we never did find like a waypoint over here. The closest one we had was over here. But we did get this one, so we could port over there. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go back. I'll probably play music uh, whenever I'm playing a game like Horizon Zero Dawn or something like that. But for a game like this, I don't like to play music. Although I might do it um, after the first playthrough, maybe. Okay, so we can get up top here. That's no problem. But when we get over here, let's go there. This game has so many like hidden little areas and valleys and caves and shit. Just want to take a peek over here. And you constantly have to be checking the edges because there might be a drop off or something that you can drop down to uh, to get to another area. And if you don't look, you're going to miss it.
Okay, I can't switch over. I forgot I can't do that. Okay, never mind. There might even be a cave that goes down. Oh, it could even be... Fuck, we're going to have to deal with these fools again. Hold on, let me take a look at the map again. Ah, oh, fuck, we can't. Actually, I can just run through here. These guys are kind of annoying. Okay, nothing on that edge. Whoa! But they can fuck you up because they'll they'll latch onto you and like they have like a combo or something that they can do that will well that'll fuck you up. <laughs> Yeah, so we're trying to get up there. It's possible that... Let me uh, go back over here. It is possible that... This area here that goes up... Um, it's possible that we may need to go up like that. Or there's a cave over here and that leads up. I'm not sure. I know those are terrible fucking arrows. Pretty sure I had I had come over here and I didn't find uh, any like cave openings or anything. So yeah. Yeah, there's nothing. But there's like this trail that leads down here. Unless that's just like a, a troll or something. Like, From Software likes to troll us. Or, it might be a teleport, because sometimes there's uh, teleports.
is worth a try. It doesn't seem to have anything over here. I don't think it's going to be a jump uh, option to get up there. It's pretty high. Well, it could be. I think it's. I think we need to get on this bridge thing over there to get up to it. Uh, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't think this is it either. I did find a teleporter uh, in here. So there might be like that might be the way in to get on get up there. Um, there's not a way up from from this thing then it's definitely one of those uh teleporters and we probably just have to find it i did find one but i don't remember where the fuck it's at i didn't take it because i i, I had the tendency to uh, get too distracted uh with things and, and not stay focused on the target agenda in this game not in real life because there's just so much in this game that makes it difficult to stay focused sometimes. At least for our first playthrough. And then they put all these fucking trees here so you can't fucking see. There's a grace there. We never found that. Well, I guess we could explore these woods a little bit more because we haven't done that yet.
Yeah, so the bridge. No fucking idea. From software is really good about making things frustrating because like they put this fucking thing in there and you want to try to look at it to see where, to see how things connect and they put all these fucking trees here and they keep them real low and real bushy so you can't fucking see like they know exactly what the fuck they're doing and I know what the fuck they're doing too Is that the way up? I don't know. Let's check out this area. Because this I think this might be a dungeon. Those are some weird looking dudes. plants these things love to poison I hear it I think it's just a red one yeah I'm not gonna bother that Oh, it's an actual NPC. Okay. Ah, there you are. You claimed a great room and had your audience with the two fingers at the round table hole. What was your impression? You don't say. Well, what a relief that must be. You may go then. My work here is done. May the wisdom of the two fingers guide you. Oh, is something wrong? Aha, your intuition serves you well. My doubts had been piling up, you see. The words of the two fingers cannot be trusted. Truly, naught but rambling, senile delusions. I believe that when the Elden Ring was shattered, the two fingers were corrupted, their guidance skewed. Even worse, the fingers harbor no love for our kind. That's the part that irks the most. Oh, I have a gift for you. Something fit only for the wise. A means for circumventing the draw of the two fingers. Give it a try, won't you? And if it please you, may we meet again. I've high hopes for you, my lambkin. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. There's no reason to dither. The tarnished were spurned by grace, forsaken by the two fingers. And now they ask you to mend their crumbling world? <laughs> Your loyalties are misplaced with them. Be sure to try that finger I gave you. I'm quite certain
So I guess we're not supposed to um uh, Whoa, 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 whoa. Who the fuck is this guy? Oh, shit. Okay, dude, I'm fucking dead. Jesus fucking Christ. I fucking get it. It's your fucking porch. Try this full again. Actually, let me get my. Holy shit. That guy is fucking crazy. <laughs> I wonder if I can block any of this shit. What? One fucking hit and I'm dead? One hit and I'm fucking dead. I got, I got a second chance here. Fucking Christ! Who the fuck was that dude? Oh shit, he left his sword stuck in me. Look at that. I'm impaled. What an asshole. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa! Be sure to try that finger I gave you. I'm quite certain that you'll take to it. I don't know if I want to, dude. I don't even remember which one he gave me. Oh, wait, isn't it this one? I got all these fucking fingers, but I know it was one of these. I can't even use it. guy didn't even give me anything. Like, at least he could have given me, give me a reach around or something. Uh, that might be an ash. We're going to have to sneak up on it. Oh, there's a fucking flower. Okay. 
Okay, that was just for a fucking refill. I didn't need that. I'm wondering if I go up to that tree up there, if there that has a port up. God, I was farming these earlier. Now I'm getting them like candy. I didn't want to look online too much to like research because I could end up running into spoilers. I just knew that those fucking things dropped them. Um, I almost got a spoiler. I think it was earlier because uh, I went to do a search and I hit a link that was going to bring up an interactive map of the whole world. And I was like, no, <laughs> I don't want to see it because <laughs> um, I've noticed that the game in the beginning, the map was about about that big. And then it got you know, bigger. And then it got bigger. And then it got bigger. So I don't, I don't want to, I don't know how much bigger this map is going to get. <laughs> and I'm enjoying the revealing part. So the revealing process, I should say. Oh, look at what we got here. It could be a trap. Okay. Oh. I wonder if this would work on those little crystal dudes that didn't want to die. Oh, shit. Rem dice bug. Whoa! Okay! Jesus fucking Christ! don't even stagger. Holy fuck. Is that dude doing cartwheels? Whoa! He just did a cartwheel on me. What a fucking asshole. A cartwheeling motherfucker. Oh, they're probably pissed because I killed their friend. <laughs> Whoa. I didn't get no iframes there. Whoa, shit, dude. Oh, ho. You want a cartwheel on me? Well, eat that, motherfucker. Oh, shit. He called fucking reserves. We got more friends. Oh, shit. These plants are coming at me. Look at this asshole. Whoa. 
What the fuck? Oh shit! No! Oh my god! What the fuck? This fucking plant! It's off! God, these fuckers respawn. Fuck. There's a corpse here. Whoa, 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 whoa. They just let me get my runes. Are these graver? No. Man, those guys are no fucking joke. Well, actually, it was the goddamn plants. If they would have minded their own business, we would have been fine. shit at me. Look at this asshole. It's like cartwheeling. Whoa! Motherfucker! Take those cartwheels elsewhere, motherfucker. He's trying to spin around behind my back. I'm going to kill all these fools. I'm going to have my revenge. I got to watch these fucking plants because those things like do some kind of like fucking spell casting bullshit. this whole motherfucker. Oh shit. Oh my god, that's how I died last time. Look at how far this shit fucking comes. What the fuck? Oh, fuck off. Oh my god, look at this thing. This 
thing is really fucking strong. Of course, I could summon up my minions, but I'm not going to do that. It seems to only do that, uh, that, uh, blue spell attack if I'm within a certain range. Oh, shit. things are not worth killing. Oh, we got our flash back at least. Is that another grace? Should have chugged this before I uh, killed that thing, so it would have refreshed. But oh well. Um, let's see if we can head up to that tree. <laughs> we took out this whole fucking camp. Wheeling motherfuckers. Oh, okay, so here here's the camp. Wait a minute. Oh, so we actually have been up there. We'll check it out anyways. We still have all of this to explore. Oh my god, this place is massive. <laughs> this over here oh yeah we did because that's where we killed that dude that killed us <laughs> like I was ripping us a new asshole <laughs> what the fuck is that look at that it's a balloon I guess they drop down if you get too close. So we will not get close. <laughs> yeah, we, we did come up here, but I don't remember if we... I Pretty sure there was a teleporter, but we didn't. I don't think we took it because we were gonna do other shit. Mm, I don't remember if we came in here or not. Oh! Oh! 
Oh, there's one behind us. Okay. Hey, you can sit the fuck down. There was another one, unless he followed us over here. We did. I think we did come in here. Yeah, it's like a dead end, or at least it appears to be. Oh, there's a grace up here. Oh, but we already have this, right? Yeah, we got that. How many runes do we have? Do we have enough for a level? I think we need like 2k. Yeah, we need like 2k. I think we can pop some. Actually, need like two more. Um, trying to get that health up. Fuck with John Rambo. Oh shit, it's another one of those uh, bosses that we can do a summons. But I thought we had. No, this is a different one. I was like, I thought we had killed this thing already. Let's do a little reconnaissance before we engage. If we can, he might end up uh, aggroing us. I should probably save FP for the boss.
What? I can't summon? Like, maybe I'm in a bad spot because I was able to summon earlier over here. Oh, wait. Ah, I see. If you're on this side, you can summon. Can I su- Okay. Well, I'm probably going to need to- Yeah, I'm going to have to flask up. Damn it. That's a big AOE. Whoa, 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 whoa. dumb enough to stay in there. Whoa! Whoa! You know what? Fuck this. Some kind of tear. I don't know what the fuck those things are for. I think they're a key item. Let me check. Yeah. Restores half of total HP and mixed, uh, as it steadily restores HP for a time and mixed physic. Restores half of total FP and mix physic. We need to learn how to do this shit. Uh, significantly negates damage and mix. Okay. Causes concoction to explode and mix physic. Okay. Yeah, because we haven't made any physic or whatever the fuck those things are. be able to scale that wall right there. Like go up and then jump up on the roof or something. Because I think I can maybe do that. I don't know. I hadn't really tried that. So let's go try that real quick. Oh, shit. 
You know what? Let's fucking do it on foot if we can. Actually, I think we need to do it to get... No? Let's try it on foot. Torrent can be a real asshole trying to control sometimes. Yeah, look at that. That's how we get in and we jump a torrent. I'm pretty sure that's what we need to do. Aha. We got up here. Now what do we do? Oh, guess we go up. <laughs> there, we got a chest. Probably some sorcery shit. Something we can't even use. <laughs> yep. I am a mind reader. Pretty much all these have been sorcery. Like all these little towers or whatever. Well, at least we figured out how to get the fuck in. No! Okay. I'm gonna die. Six K. Yeah, I guess we can refresh. All right, we're going to head up over there. I'm pretty confident in order to get up top, we need a warp or some shit. Uh, there is a valley there. to get down to that that's another story and we just fucking refresh so those assholes are going to be back although the boss i don't think responds so yeah that is there for a reason whoa shit There's a cave. Right there. Hmm. Check the map. Okay, it looks like there's a valley that leads down. Uh, question is, is can we get down there with torrent? Like drop down here and then drop down here. That is a question. port over here. Let's mark it.
Okay, yeah. There's one of these dudes here that point, that points. So he usually points to a cave, and that's probably a dungeon. This is definitely the way, but let's go ahead and light him up anyways. I like that these jellyfish uh, don't aggro you if you don't fuck with them. Okay, looks like we got some bats. Oh shit, they're still alive. I guess... Well, actually, that could be missed fairly easily, this dungeon, because I was thinking... You can't miss it because that dude points the way, but you'd have to go all the way around over there to find that dude. For the statue. I only discovered it because we looked down off the edge and we discovered it. So we might have missed it. Which means there's other places like that that are, you know. That's why I say you have to really look around for shit. Which is one of the things I love about this game. This game is fucking amazing. I love finding shit and I love puzzles and bullshit like that. Try out our scimitar. I imagine this might be a catacomb. Looks like a catacomb. Yep, it's a catacomb. This is why I got the scimitar. So, problem when fighting enemies like that is if you swing and you miss, and those things jump, they'll they'll strafe, jump, they'll be all over the fucking place. Even if you have them locked on, you can miss very easily. Once you swing and commit, they can jump, and now you're open for attack because they're that fucking quick. And forget about using a Zweihander. But with a scimitar, you can stay locked on them. And if you do happen to miss, which you generally won't, uh, the recovery time, they're not going to have enough time to attack you. And you can quickly recover with a shield block. That was one of the reasons why I wanted it. It's also not bad for bosses. Um, now, that other curved sword that I have uh, does a little bit more damage, but it's heavier. Um, we could consider upgrading that uh, as we go up in our ability to carry more weight.
can't fuck around with these things because they can fuck you up very quickly. Not used to these being at the beginning. There might be multiple doors. That could be why. on the ceilings make sure these fools aren't fucking these are gankers boy okay Janaid thanks for hanging out man have a good night see him so it might be all right to go down there another false wall that's our second false wall i don't know why they waited so long to put false walls in the game well, technically, this would be earlier before the other false wall that we found because that that's actually later. But still, to wait this long it was a little surprising. Oh, come out of there, dude. And it doesn't use hardly any stamina, so you could literally be like a goddamn... Uh, uh, I guess we should uh, put on our... Whoa! Yeah, this was definitely a good investment. It's fast, does great damage. Doesn't eat up my stamina bar, so I could literally go for fucking ever. Okay, there's a trap there. Take a look at this fucking ceiling and shit. Of course, you can always target too, and it'll light them up. Sometimes. It's two false walls. Body builds are just legit. I didn't have them targeted, that's why I was getting fucked up there. Oh, it won't let me target, that's why. Lock them down. Got 
some ashes. That health regen, uh, this is a little bit what I was afraid of. It's gotten to the point now where I have enough health where I wouldn't say it's useless, but um, the regen on it is, um, I don't know, we'll see. Like normally I wouldn't gain any health and I'd have to go ahead and just pop a flask, but we'll see how much we're able to hold up because it can be useful to save flask usage. That's the whole reason why I have it there. So we may end up swapping it for another trinket that might be more beneficial. In fact, let me take a look. We don't really need this yet <clears throat> until, um, well, we might not need it at all because we need more right now of we pop a flask, it fills our full bar. So until we get to the point, we're not able to, we don't need that. This will hopefully always need. <laughs> this is great. Uh, the equipment load could be helpful. That could be very helpful because then we could uh, equip other, other items. Uh, this, eh, these are not too bad. Um, I got confused. It raises attributes, but it doesn't raise the attributes that I thought. Okay, because this raises other attributes and this... Oh. Yep. That's a lot of health. Look at that. Yeah. Um, what is this? Still not really sure about what the VIT does. I have to look in the menu. Boys wouldn't be bad. This actually isn't too bad either. Especially with the scimitar that I'm using. Well, we'll keep the health regen for now. Was a little close. Okay, level level two. So we could probably, man, we could come down here and farm these motherfuckers. Uh, I'm trying to pay attention to Smith stones, so we know where to get them. They've been such a pain in the ass to locate. This place is all false walls. I love it. This is fucking cool. Oh wow, this was a very simple dungeon. Out. Bring the 
those skeletons back. Let's give them their day in court. Okay, dude, at least let me fucking get up, dude. This guy's being a fucking prick. Yeah, this guy's being a prick. And he smoked those fucking fools really fast. I just have to go Claymore on him. Well, actually, I could probably do Sword and Board. Maybe. What a fucking bitch. What is this? Oh my god, really? Alright, fuck enough of this shit. What a fucking asshole. What is this? What the hell was that thing? What is this? Do we have to kill this snail? Ah. Where the hell is it? There it is. his ass, sea bass. 
Sandstone Sorcerer Ashes. Okay. that shit out. Uh, this is cleared. Yeah, this is definitely got to be like a teleporter to get up here. Uh, as far as where that is, no fucking idea. Actually, I don't know if we found it over here. I'm going to go port over here. Took you for no matter. Lay out your Okay, so we haven't gotten any more threes. Level three. Yeah, probably be a good idea to upgrade our Zweihander. So it's level twos. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So we need four more level twos, but at least we know roughly where to get them. Uh, could actually go back to that dungeon and kill those things, but I'm not going to farm those for that. Couldn't get in here because it's got that uh, spell casting shit. I don't know if we explored this spot enough. Let's go back over here. So we'll go there explore that and then we'll start heading to that castle area I guess we'll head into that castle because I don't know where else to go okay yeah we cleared those catacombs so drop a marker there Yeah, we actually didn't come down here, so I guess we could uh, do that. A lot of motherfuckers.
I think we did come down here, but I don't remember if we cleared it or not. I don't know if we talked to that dude. I got a stone out of it. Fucking kamikaze motherfucker. Pretty sure we cleared that because we had to go through that to get to all of this, um, which ended up going here, which goes down to this whole fucking thing. And then we couldn't get around over here because we have to enter from over here, which I still don't even know how the fuck that happens. Um, yeah, I'm not fucking with that again right now. Anyways. Turn that off. I don't know if we really investigated this that much, though. But uh, we can explore all of this. Oh, and then there was this. Wait a minute. I don't know if we explored that either. So... We'll do all of this area before heading it over here. Sometimes I prefer to be on foot because uh, being on horseback, uh, it goes pretty quick and it can be easier to miss shit. A little bit slower, but at least you'll uh, generally see shit better. I'm sure like on the second or probably the third playthrough, uh, I can just probably do mostly horseback. Now, if the field of view, if I used a field of view slider and opened it up, then definitely, uh, definitely can go, uh, horseback because you'll be able to see more. Okay, there's a grace that we never got. That's an NPC because I can't target it. I need to hit my flask before I kill the last one. Oh, there's a shrine down there, so I guess it doesn't matter.
there we got our flask. That's the thing that we fought that sorcerer in for a while that kept kicking our ass. <clears throat> and there's that night that we, uh, there's actually a grace over here. So I think we can head back. killed that crab. Okay, so we can go back down. Actually, let's go into this fucking thing again. I don't think we have what we need to unlock it, but let's just see if... Because we've killed a few things since then. Actually, I think we have to go all the way to the bottom. If I remember right. Yeah, I gotta go all the way the fuck down there. Actually, we can just do this. Pretty sure we don't have what's needed.
think there was an NPC down here. Yeah. Oh, it's that chick. Hello? There's someone there. Would you donate any Shabiri grapes in your possession to me? I'm on a pilgrimage in search of the distant light. And when I eat one of those grapes, I can feel the light in the back of my eyes. Oh, many thanks to you. Now I can feel the distant light once more. That aside, I wonder what Shabiri grapes really are. Delectably tender and sweet, yet searing. What a sight they must be to behold. No. That's not possible. Not all of those people. Their own. So those noises I heard were... Great, I made her cry. S sorry. I'm all right now. Don't mind me. I apologize. You only did as I asked. I'll be fine. Think no more of it. I apologize. You only... <gasps> what is she doing? She sounded like she was puking. she moves after this. Yeah, I think she's gone. Oh, she's still there. Go talk to her again. Ah. Uh, I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. The reason why it was eyes I had to eat. The distant light is far and frail, so faint it can't be seen by the naked eye. But with everyone's eyes together, it appears. Finally, it all makes sense. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. I've gleaned something very important indeed, thanks to you. I'm certain now. I will be a finger maiden. Yep. Okay. Well, it's a good thing we came over here because we might have missed that part of the quest chain. Um, oh, shit. So, let's take a look at the map. Alright, so we cleared all of this. At least we believe we did. Um... So let's go check out this area over here. And then I guess we can start moving into this castle or whatever. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. I thought I was about to die. go down there. There might be something underneath this bridge. Ah, oh. Yep, there's something there. is getting rather large. Oh, fuck. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? I want to 
want to shoot those things. Oh, wait. Oh, I can't do it on horseback. Uh, let's do this. I'm just wondering if we can pop it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, they didn't die. They're still alive. something over here. Sometimes you just got to take it all in for a moment. Like Herschel says, take a moment, Rick. Herschel was a wise man. interesting you can see the sun i guess uh, is it rising or setting it's kind of hard to say i don't know see i don't know if if it's if it goes by the rules of uh rises in the east and sets in the west but yeah because in the real world that's how it is but this is not the real world <laughs> I mean, that just looks fucking amazing. I look forward to critiquing each castle. Like, after we're done completing the game. And, like, like rethinking and trying to decide which castle did I enjoy the most. 
I won't say which castle was best because that's purely subjective, but which one did I enjoy the most? Because we've really only done one castle, and that's Stormvale. The other ones were more keeps. Okay, we're heading in the right direction. Let's actually go over this way. That's interesting. Why didn't we pop this grace when we when we were here? Because I'm pretty sure we came down uh, right here. Let's double check. Because I think we came down uh, here, but we continued on to that. Uh... Yeah. Why didn't we go all the way down? Well, it's not a big deal, but. But I thought we had come all the way down here. We should have. At least to like the edge here and then gone back up. But whatever. Another one of those fucking plants. Side it. Awesome. It actually respects line of sight. Doesn't just go through fucking brick or, or rock. Christ.
What was that? What the fuck are those things? Okay. Yeah, there's more of them. 